This is a Yamaha UX3 and this is a Yamaha UX5. As you can see here, uh, it has a big uh, stand music rack for you to put the music at. And the Yamaha UX3, it has three panels, but the music rack is traditional, like the same U uh, Yamaha U1 or U3. Let's play the U UX3 first. Mm -hmm. So if I compare those two pianos, obviously I feel the UX5 in terms of the sound is richer. Let's uh, listen to some uh, some other other uh, things to compare those two one more time. A little more, one more step deeper. Compare pair back from UX5 to go back to the US3, I feel the UX3 is, is a little bit thinner, the sound. Yeah. Let's compare something when I play something you know, louder and faster. Let's compare a uh, different genre, uh, different dynamics on those two pianos. <laughs>
So I, I try to uh, cut at the same time, but I, uh, you know, automatically, automatically uh, play a little bit more. <laughs> so that, that's also prove that uh, sometimes a uh, good piano will inspire you to play more naturally. Uh, other than that, I want to say the UX5, <coughs> the middle pedal is a sustenuto pedal, so which means you have a one down here. You know, I you know, still have this node. And uh, it also have a soft uh, pad, uh, function, which the, the pedal is here. So when you do this, you can, you can play at night in a very nice, uh, softer sound. Very, very quiet. So um, overall, I think uh, indeed the UX5 is suitable for a higher level of uh, uh, performance and uh, suit for the tone quality is uh, deeper and thicker and uh, um, it uh, would be uh, suitable for a more serious study, uh, you know, from those uh, scales. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>